There are two ways to add material and labor items to a bid in the condition detail window, entering them manually or using a condition assembly. In this video, let's discuss how to create and use assemblies. An assembly is a saved template of items that you can insert into your conditions. They're perfect for common conditions that you build regularly. To start, go ahead and build a condition with all the items required. Assemblies even remember your labor production rates, so don't forget to adjust those. Once everything is in place, click the Assembly button in the bottom left corner of the Condition Details window. The Condition Assembly List Master window appears. Click the New button on the right to turn all the items in your current condition into an assembly. The Condition Assembly Detail Master window displays. Don't be surprised when this new window looks exactly like the Condition Detail window. You can tell you're in the assembly by the window's name in the upper left. Now you can make any necessary adjustments to your assembly. To begin, you should change the name and possibly the type in the upper left. The name and type pulled directly from the condition from which you created the assembly. This information might have been great for identifying that condition, but it might not be suitable for your assembly. You should rename the assembly so that there's no question in the future about what the assembly includes. The type field controls the category where you can find your assembly the next time you use it. You can also select yourself as the estimator, which makes you the assembly owner. The owner field can easily distinguish between assemblies you've created and any that may have come with your database. You don't need to adjust any quantities. Assemblies automatically adapt to the quantities on the condition on which you use them. The quantities displayed in the assembly itself are more like an example. Once you've made your adjustments, click the Close button in the bottom right. The Condition Assembly List window is still open, and you can see your assembly on the list inside the type assigned to it. However, suppose you want to make more changes. In that case, click the Change button to reopen the Condition Assembly Detail window. Once finished, click the X in the upper right to close the Condition Assembly List window. To use the assembly, let's open an unpriced condition. Now, click the Assembly button again. We'll look for the assembly we just created and double-click it this time. All the items from the assembly instantly drop into the condition with updated quantities. If you ever want to edit any of your assemblies outside of a bid, you can find the condition assemblies list in the master menu at the top of QuickBid. Now you can access each of your assemblies one at a time and make any necessary changes. For example, let's say you have an interior wall assembly, but you'd like another assembly for an exterior wall. Your new assembly includes all the same items, but only needs one layer of drywall, and it includes insulation. You can select the interior wall assembly and click the Duplicate button to make a copy of it. Now you can open it up, change the name, and adjust the items.